Kyle. Oh, okay. So another edition of the stream. I don't know which week is it in a row, but now I, I think I'm getting a hang of it. So everything is live, everything is green. And I already have a challenge, so why don't I start the stream? Uh, Mr. X. Um, stream number 13. The lucky 13. Let's see how it goes this time. And one thing that I will say immediately is that uh, for unfortunately today I won't be able to uh, do it uh, for two hours like um, a couple of times before. Uh, let's just see if Mr. X is here to join me for a beautiful game of chess. If not, then we'll just continue on with uh, some kind of a challenge or some kind of a game with someone uh, on the Leech's website. So yeah, today it will be unfortunately only for an hour less today. We don't have the chess Olympiad, so that is finished. China was first in both men and women uh, competition. So definitely a nice result. Ding Lirand on the first board. Amazing play. Just extraordinary. And me not having too much. Okay. Ivanesco. It's time for a rematch, man. You know it is. Yes, of course, I want to leave this game because Mr. X isn't joining me for a game. Let's play a game with Ivanesco. This time, a little bit more patient and a little bit more composed because last time I had a little bit of trouble with Ivanesco. He is a, a young chess player on the rise, playing exceptional chess for such a young age, always playing c4, starting with the English opening, and I'm going to try to build up something with d5 immediately in the center, even though I don't like it, but why why not? Strike in the center immediately, yeah, and capture on c4. Okay, this is a forced one. Hmm. And now, question is, do I play e6 or bishop to f5? I would say e6. I'm not yet ready to move the bishop from the defense of this pawn because the bishop is on this diagonal. Okay, bishop to e7, going castles. He goes immediately with b4. I'm not really thinking that that is something I should be worry, worried about, at least for now. Okay, let's play knight to d5. It is a move with the tempo. Pawn captures, now this bishop will develop on this side of the board. And also the queen is attacked. Okay. Hmm. Then it's an interesting one. Let's let's attack this pawn on b4 twice. Let's see how it defends. Okay. He wants to checkmate me on g7. Sneaky, sneaky move. Hmm. How to approach this? I mean, bishop to f6 seems like a, a reasonable move to play d4 okay and now a5 right playing queen to a5 and rook to a5 putting a lot of pressure on this pawn with knight to d7 and knight to b6 next maybe first bishop to f5 just to have a development here knight to d7 yeah later on the other rook comes to the a file Doubling up with the rooks. I'm enjoying my position, at least for now. Okay, Vanesco isn't satisfied with just this. Okay, let me just check what is what is happening here. Okay. Everything is fine. Okay, so doubling up the rooks, capturing on d7, bishop captures on d7. Hmm. I think I'm okay here. It would be an interesting endgame, definitely, because having a bishop pair on both of the... on both sides... Okay, but now I will simply exchange, right? Will he capture with the bishop or... Okay, he goes for it. And now c5 isn't available immediately. Because bishop to d5, and then capturing on b7. But one thing that is available is entering with the, with the king into the game. 
on d6. And now still c5 is impossible. Whoa, what is with king to f1? Am I missing something here? I'm not going to play c5 immediately. King c7, c5? No, bishop to e6, or bishop to f5. Yeah, it's, it, is, it is definitely an interesting one. Let's move the king to c7 now, and then play c5. So now finally it is prepared. I do have a passed b-pawn. That is always good. And let's try to take advantage of that. So not going for the exchange. King to c6 next. Bishop to b4, f4 still nothing, if pawn goes here, can capture, here, bishop to f5 also, yeah, here I can simply capture and play bishop to d5, okay, maybe I gave up pawn, maybe, um, let's continue with the pawn push on this side. Okay, b3 and king to b5 with bishop to b4. Let's see what he does next. His bishop on a1 isn't looking too good. And his bishop on g8 is out of the game, so... Okay, bishop to b2 was a terrible mistake. Putting yourself into checkmate. So yeah, now that some of you have joined, I've been focusing on this game, please feel free to challenge. If not, I'm going to play with somebody who actually wants to play against me like Ivanesco. <sighs> okay, Ivanesco, ready for a rematch. Playing the Scandinavian, no, that's the worst. Scandinavian is the worst I'm going to play if I'm just going to ignore it. Development on the, I don't know, play b3 or something like that. Okay, knight to c6, I didn't expect that. Usually people play c5, Immediately go for the center, but here, yeah, Ionesco doesn't want to hear it. Bishop to b5, a necessary move. If, for example, I would play d4, bishop to f3, queen to f3, knight to d4, wins a pawn for black. But now, in this case, yeah, the, the knight is pinned. The pawn on e5 isn't, isn't there for the capture. So I'm going to play d4 now. Still, there are some possibilities of playing c5. But first preparing it. Probably e6, but I'm also looking into knight to a4. If c5 is played, knight to c5. Okay. But I'm going to play bishop to e6. Even though I'm opening up the g-file. Now his pawn structures aren't looking that good. And hmm, I'm going to go kingside castle. Uh, also have to think about the best way to approach this rook to g8, a very nice move. I'm going to play rook to e1, e6. Is a possibility? Okay. Queen to e6, knight to a4 with knight to c5. Now the queen is stopping the pawn from being pushed and bishop capturing on c5. So a knight to c5 seems like a very decent move. Okay. This pawn is attacked, but should I care about it? Also the... Yeah, the queen here on g2, knight c5, c3, should I put in c3 just to keep it safe? Yeah, let's play c3, maybe even b4, if he plays rook to b8. But yeah, as long as the queen is here, there are no threats. Okay, he doesn't want to play that. Mm, probably should have played e6 first, yeah. Now there is a capture, but... I can also now play knight to f4 or knight to b4. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, okay. So, now that more of you have joined, I just wanted to mention that today, uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to play uh, for two hours like I have been doing for, I don't know, last two or three times. Knight h5, bishop e7. Yeah, unfortunately I have to run after an hour. So please challenge me. 
um, while you can while my while I'm here so for the next 15 minutes or one hour 50 minutes to one hour so let's see how long we go for today Knight of six bishop pawn rook hmm yeah look not looking too promising to be honest what about rook to e3 c4 yeah i'm covering all the bases okay oh i can always play knight to f4 back knight to h3 okay he decided to play queen to g4 but still i'm not actually forced to do anything if queen captures rook can simply capture oh but h3 is a move h3 is a move. but okay still h3 isn't doing that much let's say let's double up the rooks i hope i'm not missing anything that would be a shame i mean if h3 of course i won't capture with the queen on h3 i will capture the queen and knight to g3 then still i'm the one he got rid of one uh double up pawn but uh still the situation here on the queen side isn't too promising for him so this is something to look forward to in the end game via yandra of course you can challenge just go on leeches um, my username is in the description it is almighty you can also see it on the screen challenge for at least three minutes blitz you can play it casual you can play it rated whatever is your preference um and yeah Let's just enjoy the game. Hmm. And while waiting, while playing this longer games, I thought I would probably need to talk about some topics. And the most recent one is definitely the one at the Chess Olympiad. So China won both. And uh, that is a definitely a nice result. Um, still knight of six isn't working. Knight to f4, queen to c2. Is he pre preparing queen to c2? Yeah, let's bring the knight back to d3 even. Okay, bishop to g5 is also a move. Yeah, and all of a sudden... Okay, queen coming here, bishop to g5 is probably being prepared. Let's bring the knight here, rook back. If the bishop attacks, yeah. And now, once again, d squares. But man, um, I'm not really playing too promising chess here. Um, okay, the knight is attacked. Let's go, let's go to b4. Now these two pawns are attacked. Can I play queen to d3? I can actually play c4. Can I play c4? That's the question. Bishop to f4. Okay. Hmm. What is he trying to do? Hmm. Now, this is interesting. This is definitely an interesting situation. Um. But I'm going to go for it. I mean, I'm not seeing any threats like bishop to h2, king comes to h2 and everything. I'm just going to simply either blunder or win with this nice sacrifice on d5. Still, the queen will be the one who is guarding here on g2. After all this is said and done, so no threats here. And I have time to play e6. And uh, the capture comes with the tempo. So, all in all, it's looking good. So, if he doesn't find anything that I might have missed, then this will be a very nice win with a sacrifice on d5, Ivanesco. So, have I missed something? Like some crazy sacrifice that I don't see. I mean, h3 should be too slow now, right? Even g3 can be played. Not really bothering myself with the capture here, but uh, pawn captures on f7 is a very strong move because it comes also with a threat of capture on g8, bringing out a queen or maybe even a knight. You never know. 
But I think I have actually pre-moved this on leeches. Okay. But now queen to a8, right? That was the thing. If you go on the 8th rank, I can capture the rook simply. And, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh that's an interesting one. Let's play this. No king to g7, I'm guessing, yes. There is no checkmate. But there is this one thing. After I play this, I can play e7. Still no checkmate, but this pawn is unstoppable going for a queen. Hi Eduardo, yo Massine, thanks for joining. Okay, there is the sacrifice, but this is a simple check. Still, unstoppable pawn going to e8. h3, okay. Queen comes here and queen comes here, check. Rook captures. Okay, let's give a check. Let's grab, grab a couple of pawns. I mean, I'm not the one who is down on time for the first time, yes. Okay. So let's go over a couple of things. First and foremost, Harley Reeves. I definitely won't be playing a half minute game, so a hyper bullet game on the stream, embarrassing myself. Uh, Edwin though, um, this 10 minute is kind of too long, so let's keep it between three and five, like via Yendra here. And Harley Reeves, if you want to play bullet, okay, then, uh, then uh, of course we will uh, we can play about at least a minute because playing a uh, hyper bullet it's uh, unfortunately i will blame the stream once again and my internet provider for not being too fast and actually keeping the pace so because everything lags when i'm trying to play a bullet uh, on the stream and i don't want to lose horribly so at least a minute give me a minute to try and uh, yeah just defend my honor here so we are going for this Alapin variation with c3 and the Sicilian and a very strange d3 here. Pawn captures, I guess, and queen captures on d1 already. Ooh, black should be better here because knight to 6 comes with a tempo on the pawn. Okay, is this some variation that I'm not aware of? Um, hmm, this, this is interesting. Let's play knight to e4. I want bishop to... Oh, I was thinking bishop to d3. Okay. Knight comes here. King comes here. Um, what happens if I play bishop to f5? Bishop to c5 castles. Check. King goes to e1. Not much has been done. So I'm just simply going to defend the pawn with the bishop playing. Let's say a devel de development move. E6. Okay, king to c2. All of this is fine. And now king to b1. Okay. Could have I I could have played e5 simply. Now I will waste one other tempo for actually going for it. Um bishop to f5 is a threat. So this is with the check. Definitely going for a very good situation here. Playing rook here. And now capturing with the rook. Yeah, this is pretty much a game uh, where I managed to solidify my pieces. Plus, I do have uh, that pawn. And here I'm going to even play b5. Since bishop went to b3 and I'm going to prepare c4. So going for the end game. Yeah, as I've said, c4. Uh, bishop has to go to a2. And what now? What now? Okay. Let's play bishop to c2, attack the rook. Will he go for the exchange or rook to c1? That's the question. Rook to e1, okay. Okay. Rook to d7, going for the defense. I mean, defending of the pawn if knight to e5, but still. f6 is also a possibility. I'm not losing this pawn. At least I don't see it. Knight, knight captures, knight to f6. Is there any discovery that I'm not seeing? Can I actually play bishop to d1 here? Play bishop to d1 and capture here on f3. 
I mean, he can play rook to d2, I have to capture, and then knight captures on d2, then I have to bring the bishop back to c2. But bishop to d1 looks very nice, so I'm going to definitely play it. Okay, rook to e1, and now I capture here. And now I do have double double rooks on the d file. This is a very nice advantage here. Bishop can come now on b1. Then I will play g6. Uh, but I will have to think about how to position my knight a little bit better. Okay, still g6. And f5 in the preparation. So going for a strong center, but now, okay, after h4, simply bishop captures on h4. The rook is attacking it. I want to go here, keeping it on this diagonal. The king is on this diagonal, uh, maybe preparing a5 and b4, and then continue with the pawn push. So bishop to g7, and now preparing f5. I could have put in a simple rook to d1 exchange, one pair of rooks since the rook came on g4, but yeah, it, it is still a possibility. Okay, now it isn't anymore. So let's play f5. And let's see what will he do with his rook. Okay, rook to h4. Should I play f4? Hmm. Also, a6 is a possibility. f4 forces the bishop back to c1. So let's go for that. And then knight, beautiful knight jumps from e7 to f5. Yeah, this is this is definitely a better position for black here. Simple h6 solves this uh, threat. Okay, even g5 now. And slowly but surely these pawns are going to be pushed further and further up the board when uh, finally they will become a queen. So this bishop is totally out of the game. I mean, he can play b3, but it doesn't seem like... Uh, that he can actually go out because I I can play uh, either of the rooks on the c file defend the pawn here. Okay, sacrifice of the pawn. Even if I capture with this pawn, rook to g7 would result into knight capturing on g7. A nice game, Yandra. Do challenge for one more. Okay, Harley Reeves. Not going for a hyper bullet, but for a, a blitz game. So let's do one. I. I I don't really remember playing with you, man. So, uh, yeah, and I'm exactly right. So this is our first game. So welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel and enjoy the game. Let's play a nice Sicilian. I'm immediately stopped. Sometimes uh, I play after e6 in the Sicilian c4 to immediately stop d5 ideas, which are pretty important for the, uh, for the Sicilian from Black's perspective. Uh, so here there could be a potentially a problem with the e4 pawn. Okay, knight. Uh, bishop uh, attacks on c3, pins the knight. Yeah, if bishop captures, pawn captures. So now what will he do? That's the question. Will he go? If he goes for the knight, I'll simply capture. But if he doesn't, uh, knight to d6 could be a threat. Okay, knight to d6, definitely going for the exchange, and I'm enjoying this. Okay. Oh, okay. You resigned already, but uh, I, I don't think that you have to resign in this situation. I mean, of course, the bishop here will fall, but queen to c7 doesn't allow my, my knight to go out. Right? Yeah. I think uh, I played this situ I played this position already before. Uh, and I think uh, I think white should be a little bit better. I can analyze this further, but uh, yeah, white should be a little bit better. But it's definitely not a lost game. It is a game that can be played, so shouldn't have resigned there. Edwin though, okay, For, once again a game on the stream. It's my our nineteenth game, and again I'm playing the Sicilian, but I'm also. Um, uh, yeah, I'm also open to some opening suggestions. So if you, oh, you wanted the Berlin. Yeah, Eduardo, <laughs> you know me. Uh, I'm always going with the Sicilian. Uh, I actually played today uh, already a blitz game, not on a stream, uh, but actually in free time. 
I played uh, this variation where my opponent played with queen to d4 and he demolished me in this variation, so I'm not really enjoying that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to find the best continuation here. What happens if queen to d4 now? Can I play knight to f6? e5, pawn captures, rook captures, okay. Seems to be fine. But the idea of developing the bishop here on g7 seems to be sound. So now queen to a5. But okay, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's just simply go uh, for uh, castling and then maybe try to take advantage of the open b file, queen to a5. Then st start that kind of an attack here. Of course, the main the main thing that I'm looking at for white here in this position is definitely e5 and trying to push e5. Of course, we'll see how that goes, but um, I was thinking that f4 probably should have been a move at least considered, at least considered. Okay, bishop to h6 is the threat. Um, okay, I'm totally fine with this. Queen to a5. Hmm. Bishop h6, I'm not really in time to play, yeah, knight to g4. Maybe I should have played knight to g4 instead of queen to a5, because then I would be attacking the bishop and stopping bishop to h6. Hmm. Okay, bishop captures on h6, queen captures, rook to b8. Da? Oh, just a sec. Sorry for the interruption, but sometimes it happens. So where were we? Uh, okay, Queen went back to C1. Just fix that hat for a little bit. And yeah, yeah, this pawn on B2 becomes defended. I wasn't really planning on planning that. Hmm. Yeah, let's try knight to g4. The move that doesn't do anything for the moment, but hopefully, hopefully, something will happen. Okay, rook, rook to b1. Adding another piece here for the protection. Um, let's play queen to e5. Threats. Now there are a lot of threats here in this position. One thing that I would like to do is definitely double up on the B file because this that seems like a very nice idea. But queen to e5 is definitely a sound thing to have. But f4 doesn't work, so that was the one thing that I knew that doesn't work. First and foremost, because of a beautiful smothered mate. That uh, should be common uh, if you move the king. Um, and also, if you want to cover on e3, then you're definitely losing a piece. So this is uh, finished for white. And the best move is probably simply g3 and then continuing with the game. You don't want to allow me to play a very nice modern mate, man. That's, that's very sad. But I am going to capture with the knight on e3 and still keep my options open. So, I'm guessing king to h1, yeah exactly, and now knight back to g4. Still going for it, let's see what happens. But yeah, now actually there is no smothered, smothered mate, because if the queen captures on g1, uh, knight to f2 isn't a possibility, so yeah, yeah, I'm missing that one. But okay, still, still there is knight to f2, knight to d3. 
threat of capturing the queen. So let's see how Eduardo deals with that. Okay, h3. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Knight of two. Yeah. I'm not really getting anything after a king moves stage two, so I'm thinking knight to h5, knight to g3, and going for some other ideas. Well, at the same time, on the queen side, it looks to be it looks to be finished. Okay, knight to h5. Now also the pawn on f4 is attacked. Okay, rook to d1 attacks the queen, so we should move it out of the way. Even no. Queen to b6. Let's not play with queen to c5. Now two pawns are attacked. The one on f4 and the one on b2. Okay, the one on f4, yeah, that is probably a bet better move. Queen to b2, uh, yeah, I've played it, but I'm not really sure that is the best idea. Let's just remove this. Okay, he already captured. Maybe I could have captured also with the f-pawn, opening up the f-file for the, for the rook. Okay, now even e5, so he is going all in. Let me capture him on c2. What now? Rook to b3. Okay, let's capture with the pawn. Will rook capture on d6? No. Knight to e4. Interesting. Let's play with the rook here. Now threatening checkmate on g2. Okay. This is this is very nice. Eduardo is Okay, yeah, I can simply capture on e4. Eduardo is really Playing it really good. Okay, let's give a check. If he goes on h2, this is capture with the tempo. If he goes on g1, then queen to d4 is a check, and the queen is still attacked. Checkmate. Okay. Oh, a couple of new challenges for some new from some new players. Very looking forward to that. So hope you guys are enjoying. Um, okay, for d4, do I have? No, I don't have any opening requests, so I'm simply going to play the Nims of Indian like I play usually. I don't know. Okay, he won't allow me. So c4, I'm guessing, but still bishop to b4. Trompovsky. Let's play c5 immediately and go for the center playing against Cronaldinho, uh, a colleague from the chess club. Let's see how he deals with this variation that I've been investigating. Hmm, capturing here. And now the knight on c3. Okay. Um, what am I? No, have I? No. I think I've missed something here. No, no, I haven't. This is some variation that I actually have played a couple of times. Cannot play really knight to e4 because uh, okay, the bishop on d3. That is an interesting move. This is a very interesting move. Play c4. Yeah, c4 doesn't work. But, yeah. But it's definitely an interesting situation. Let's play even d5. Hmm. Okay, a3, 
the queen moves a4 okay let's play bishop to b4 now this is getting crazier and crazier it seems now I have to go for some for some calculation here okay if I exchange on d2 king comes on d2 Okay, but there is a nice in between or with knight to d6, or is it? No, I can simply play king to e7. Okay, my time is very bad, once again. Um, let's go for the exchanges, knight to b4. Yeah. Bishop, yeah, bad. Now let's go for the exchanges with king to d6 in mind, and then just continue on with the play. Bishop simply captures, knight to c7, whatever he plays. Okay, b6, b5. Okay, now doubling up the rooks. Now I have to play a little bit faster. Okay, he played, haven't seen it. Let's play f5. Still f5 is a threat. Okay, he moved back. Um, can I play this? I'm not really sure. Okay, knight to c7, rook to b1. I do have some... I don't have time, but I do have a very nice pass pawn on this side, which I'm definitely going to try to use. Okay, should play like this. Now let's go for these two pawns. Okay, probably should have shouldn't have played that. Hmm. Now this is very interesting. I'm totally losing this game. Definitely winning this one. No, this is this is a dead loss game. Okay, once again, killing with time. Yeah, Cronaldinho definitely up for a re for another game, but. There are a lot of people waiting, so let's move it on for later on in the, in the stream. If you if you want to wait, or if you want to play again, yeah, that was that was some really bad play. So let's play against Raj 007, and it seems that once again we have a new player, maybe even a new subscriber here. Uh, Raj, enjoy the game. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the stream. Uh, this is our first game. And it is once again a Sicilian, some orthodox line where I'm going to try to play something like this and blunder knight to g5 immediately. But okay, Raj uh, won't be taking advantage of that just yet. Okay, he will capture like this. Let me capture like this. And one thing that you can see immediately from this situation is that this bishop is in a very bad situation so i can even go castle on bishop to h6 i can play bishop to f6 but he is playing queen to g3 okay because he blundered the queen and i didn't suppose that i would sh that i should actually capture it man i should really concentrate this was okay a moment of weakness but okay let's try to 
keep the focus and play f4, f3 and go for at least a better game there. But man, blundering a whole queen. Yeah, nice game, Kraldin. Nice game. Okay, pawn captures. Pawn captures not having these two very nice central pawns. Let me defend this one with the bishop and the development. Now preparing bishop to f6, e3. Moves like these. Okay. What should I do here? Simply capture or play bishop to f6? Hmm. Bishop to f6, bishop to d4, bishop b3, queen b6. Yeah, everything is defended for white, so... Messing up his pawn structure doesn't really work. d3 runs into bishop to e3, and then my bishop here acts as a pawn. Um, it's an interesting position, definitely. Hmm. Okay, bishop to f6, e3. Yeah. e3 or d3, I'm not really sure. Pawn captures, pawn captures, bishop f6. Queen captures, bishop to f6. Uh, I d will still have this very nice central pawn, e4, but bishop to e3 immobilizes it, so... Doesn't really seem that I have that much, even with these two pawns. So let's just go for an active play. So playing like this, bishop to d4, bishop to e3, queen to b6, and then uh, playing the, the rooks on the c-file. And one thing that I'm looking into is that maybe my bishop can become a little bit stronger than his bishop. Oh, he does want to go for bishop to e3. Okay, that is fine. But still, I'm going to play. Now even ah okay, queen to f6 is a move, uh, even better than, uh, even better than queen to b6 because now those two pieces are working beautifully together. And I'm also preparing rook to c8. Still, his bishop on a2 is out of the game, and yeah, I think black is finally a little bit better here. Okay. And one thing that I'll definitely do: stop playing the Sicilian because um. It is already 40 minutes into the stream and I'm not really liking it. So yeah, finally, let's just talk about some topics that are uh, current in the world of chess, like the Chess Olympiads. So for the third time, China has won it Bo in both categories. Bishop to b1 doesn't work because rook to c1. Now, it is amazing to me that I can see a move such as that one. But playing bishop to g4 and capturing the queen, that is out of my reach. So that is just crazy. So yeah, China won both. Ding Liren playing on the first board. Amazing play. And yeah, other than that, uh, Croatia was playing pretty good. And I was satisfied with all the results. They, they like, for the first time, I think, uh, managed to beat everyone they should have. Uh, and... And... It was all happening up until the last, the last moment. So the last game on the Olympiad where they lost against Sweden and in the end uh, messed up the whole result. With the win, they would definitely be uh, under. So in top ten, uh, starting with the eighth thing, I think they were uh, 18th uh, in ranking. That is definitely a very nice result. So here, bishop to d2. Forces rook to e2, I think, and then after e3, and the bishop exchange, um, having this pawn here should be enough. So yeah, there was this. Once again, losing the bishop, and now bishop to d3, pins the rook. I will even play g5, because I want the king to move, and then I will capture the rook. Yeah, that's exactly it. Let's capture even this pawn, if he allows me. Okay, yeah. Nice game, Raj, and thank you for playing. Okay, once again, I think a new challenger. A new challenger. This one, this time it is no 1-0. Playing d4 for the first move. And why am I missing this thingy where it tells me how we played in the past? I don't know, but I'm going to play e6. 
avoiding and going for the French. Oh man. Okay. I I do know know a couple of couple of things from the French. Mac, McPartridge boy. No, I'm not from the US. I'm actually from Croatia. That is why I'm always referring to the Croatian chess team. Bishop to b5. Let's try queen to a5. Yeah, actually I'm from from, from a small town in Croatia. And yeah, but yeah. Raja Rampara, but yeah, no problem. Anytime. I'm always up for a game. So guys, if uh, it doesn't have to be on the stream, I know we probably like to be uh, playing on the stream against me, but it doesn't have to be. You can always follow me on Leeches. And if uh, at, a, at any point you would like to go and challenge me for, for a game, definitely do so. Uh, I am usually here in the in the afternoon hours uh, because then that is when I'm finished with my job. Okay, once again I'm missing d4 because I wasn't expecting bishop to d3. I should stop and think about actually the position before actually making a move. Yeah, now a3 and I have to play bishop to c3. You completely mess, will mess up this position. Okay, let's see what he does here. But yeah, yeah, no problem for the games. Once again, taking suggestions for the openings because otherwise, obviously, I will play the French or some crazy opening that I don't like. Um, C5, D4. But bishop, activating the bishop, that should be the main goal here. Of course, now not C5, queen to H7 is a threat. Let's play G6. Stopping the whole idea. I am weak on the dark squares, but knight to f5 is an idea also. So, but let's just first play c5 and d4. We'll keep, okay. Whoa, knight to f5 isn't possible. Knight to f5, bishop to f5, pawn captures, bishop e6. Bishop is already a danger, a really big danger here. But then I can play f6. No, he can play queen to f6. I'm losing the game. Okay, I understand. Definitely understand now. What to do then? Queen to d8? No. Bishop to b4. Pins the knight and uh, once again losing the game. Knight to f5, pawn captures, g pawn captures. Yeah, not, not really liking that either. Man, should I play bishop to e8? No. Still a big no no. Rook to e8? Let's play rook to e8, defending the knight. Yeah, it's a tricky position. Now bishop to b4, c5. But yeah. Uh, what I was talking about. Yeah, I'm actually from... Uh, from Croatia. Small town. Playing chess for 12 years now. 13 maybe. Yeah, it's been, it's been a long while. Can I play queen to e5? Should I play queen to e5? That's even a better question. Let's play queen to e5. Yeah, queen to e5. Definitely a good move. Uh, capturing a pawn. No one. Did you blunder it or did I blunder the game? Let's just see. So, can you play poker? Yes, I can. Everybody can play poker. It's the most easiest game in the world, I should say. But am I any good at poker? <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't consider that I have a particular poker face, so yeah, should I play queen to e5? Probably shouldn't because the bishop to c3 was following with uh, with queen to f6 and uh, it, it would be all good if I haven't, yeah, that's, that's the craziest thing of all, that I, if I haven't just uh, like gone through all the variations and ended up seeing bishop to c3 with queen to f6 but actually now i do see this knight to f5 which is a move that i think gets me out of trouble 
Now the knight is attacked, uh, attacking the queen here. A perfectly good knight to f5 with queen captures on f5. If bishop captures on f5, if bishop captures on e5, knight captures on h4, and still I can turn back to f5. So now queen captures, queen to d4 come, runs into e5, and all is all is good. Now I can block with f6. If uh, the queen moves on h6, I can block with e5 at some point. Yeah, it's it's looking good. So that pawn in the end probably was a blunder, but it does complicate position for me. Yeah. Janjac, dara, yeah. Pozdrav iz Dugeres. Pozdrav, pozdrav. Pozdrav iz Križovac. <laughs> Please try modern defense once instead of King's Indian is black. Modern defense. Oh, this is a very nice thing to hear. I'm glad you started following chess because of me and Agat Matter. I think a lot of people started following chess because of him. He's kind of a mega star in the YouTube community, specifically regarding chess. So, yeah, definitely, definitely a nice thing to hear. And uh, once again, a modern defense. Can some of you, for me, so for those of you who know me, probably it wouldn't be too much of a surprise to to hear that I don't really know much about openings. I have been emphasizing it for a very, very long time. I do say uh, I, uh, I'm i open to the opening suggestions, but um, it would be also good if you would uh, write to me uh, what I actually need to play when you're suggesting the opening. So when you say the modern defense, I don't know. Sicilian looks pretty modern to me, so I don't know what's the modern defense. Probably is, it is something simple, but uh, yeah, I don't really know what I should play. Hey Trav, yeah, no worries. But uh, as I've mentioned before, uh, today's stream is going to be a little bit shorter. So not going for two hours like usually on Sundays. Today I have some other work to do, so it will be uh, an hour and a little bit more. So 15 minutes more, 20 minutes because I have to go, unfortunately. Uh, let's play probably e5 here. So take a couple of more challenges let's, yeah let's play e5 here queen to g4 is a threat i'm perfectly fine with leaving one pawn just to not have things complicated let's say um maybe maybe put in a d4 first okay yeah no no, definitely. Maybe even e4 now. No, let's play d4. Don't even think about e4 still, then the bishop would be slicing on this diagonal. I'm not liking that. So now the bishop has to go somewhere here, probably on b4. And now, then I will play e4. Or will I? I, think I can actually play h5 as well. Or f5. But then queen to f6. Whatever I play, I should play something. Otherwise, I will lose on the queen with rook to e4. So e4 seems a perfect, like a perfectly nice move. Pawn captures, queen captures on g4. Yeah, let's run with this. The bishop will defend on e6, so all should be fine. Going into a pretty complicated variation here with no one. Okay, thanks, thanks, Rajaram. A e4 g6, d4 bishop to g7, c4 d6, knight to c3. Okay. Okay. Let's play the modern. Especially, I like to play against the modern with the white pieces. So, let's see how will it be uh, with the. Yeah, playing it with the black pieces. Looking on it from the other side of the board. Okay, rook to f6. Let's put in a rook here. If rook captures, rook captures. Okay, doubling up the rooks. Threat to capture on f7, so have to capture. And here, now the rook is attacking here, of course. Hmm. Let's play rook to e8. Rook to c6. Uh, I can capture on e4 because rook to c8 was uh, yeah, defended by the bishop here. So Elway, though I already played against you, uh, Mr. X, I will give you another chance. 
Uh, yeah, because at the beginning of the stream, unfortunately, you haven't. And eventually, it transforms into a King's Indian. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so G6 first. So I'm going to look at the, at the cheat sheet, cheat sheet uh, for a moment there. Okay, this is all fine. Bishop to G7. D6. Okay, Bishop to D3 isn't in the cheat sheet, but okay, I guess this is fine. I could have just captured here on D, D4, right? There are no checks. I just could have, okay. Um, knight to C6 immediately. Let's go for it. Uh, force him to push d5. Okay, and e5 even. I'm thinking that this could be nice. Okay, d5 I was expecting, knight to e7. And I see what you mean when it transforms into a sort of a king's Indian. Because here I will go castles. And if he goes castles this side, knight to e8, f5 seem to be like a perfectly reasonable way to go. Okay, queen to d2. Let's play knight to g4 now. Yeah, winning the dark square bishop. This is like an important thing, right? It should be pretty important. 7 and 11. Uh, knight captures on e3 and now f5. Knight to g5 with knight to e6 seems pretty dangerous. At least for the moment, but I'm keeping my bishop here, so it, it should be fine, yeah, it should be fine, okay, and now the question is, should I capture with the bishop, then bishop knight captures f5, she, he moves the queen, and then knight to g5 threats, or even bishop to f5, knight to g5 immediately, hmm, Let's play knight to f5. Even though I'm liking bishop to f5 even more, but I'm not sure that knight to g5 would be too good in the end. I'll definitely play h6, maybe even play some kind of a bishop to g4. And in the end, having the bishop pair here, after all this, it does does seem like a yeah, like a very nice thing. So having a bishop pair, and he goes for the queen exchange, but I think this is a this should be winning for black, or at least better. Playing the rook here, knight to b5. Yeah, knight to b5. But okay, there are a couple of things. For example, here, bishop to c4 could be a move. Attacking the rook, knight to e2 is the only defense, and then bishop to c4. Uh, knight to e6 is met with the knight, a rook to f7, but it's okay to give up a bishop pair if you can go for a significant material advantage or a positional advantage. So I think I'm going for that now here, and I think that's okay. Hey Stefano, so you also joined. So it is actually a very nice, a nice stream so far, and once again I have to express that I'm really, really sorry that I won't be able to do a two-hour stream like usually. I'll try to do it next time. So, and one other thing. So now that most of you, probably more of you are here, uh, I'm going to be traveling next week. So, which means no videos. Unfortunately, no videos this week. So the next week, the following week, it will be, so I'm traveling from Monday to Friday. Uh, actually, I have recorded something, but I won't be able to publish it or upload it. Uh, I have been, uh, so let's just take a second here. Bishop to c4, pinning the knight. Should I go for a2, rook to a1, and then he goes here for a7. But I have bishop to c4. So let's go, bishop to a2. Yeah, I've been recording the analysis videos for the games with Stockfish. Um, yeah. Uh, and they're, they're pretty nice, in my opinion. Um, they will be uploaded sometime. Either if I somehow manage to do it, uh, during the course of uh, of the next week, then I will do it. If not, then over the next weekend. But yeah, probably it will be no mm -hmm. videos uh, from Monday to Friday, unfortunately. Yeah, that's how it is when you have to travel. Let's play d5 and d4 here. 
Yeah, actually, it was a very good Sunday. I barbecued a little bit and uh, ate a lot, drank a couple. That's that's in my book uh, a really good Sunday. So, okay, what to do here? Bishop c4, d5, d4. Okay. I mean, this knight is starting to become annoying here on g5. It is definitely too long on g5. So let's play g h6 first, uh, run it away to h3. And now knight to d5 is a threat still. I can play c5, but I can also play d4. But I'm thinking about rook to c5, attacking then the bishop and the pawn on c7. So let's play c6 first, defend this. Okay, d4 now. Oh, knight to d6. Ah, Let's play bishop to d5. Knight here jumps, knight rook to e7. But yeah, definitely enjoying my positions. Def position definitely with a bishop pair here. Um, I'll give up one bishop. Here, rook has to capture because pawn is pinned. And yeah, simply the bishop is defending on e5, simply push this pawn, and that's it. Should be enough. Rook d5 first, the other rook comes here. Rook to b5 is also an idea. So, yeah, slowly but surely, I mean, I'm three pawns up, so should be enough, should definitely be enough. Okay, let's play also bishop to h6. Try to take over on the dark squares. The rook is defending on e5. Will the rook go on c2 or d1? If on c2, then d3. If on d1, then rook captures on b2. Oh, very nice. Very nice. What should I do? Can I simply play rook to f8? g3? The rook cannot capture because rook captures it is mint. So g5 now, if f5, rook captures on f5. Yeah, little by little. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I'm also loving the Stockfish series. I'm still considering which of the engines I'm going to play next. Uh, I have been talking about playing it with the Magnus app. The thing with playing against the Magnus app, it is an app. So I have to run the emulator on the computer. And uh, I haven't, I kind of had a couple of, uh, yeah, problematic situations. I did uh, download one of the emulators that would actually work, uh, but um, it didn't really uh, record well with the OBS uh, recording app here on the Windows. Uh, so I will have to think about how, which, which should be probably the best way uh, how to record myself playing against the Magnus app. If I would manage to do that, that, that would be also great because the Magnus app, as you all know, have so also those types of levels. So I don't know, from age five or six up until age, age 20. But uh, I don't think it will be the same thing as with Stockfish because probably already with Magnus age 11, I should start having problems because already at that age he is definitely he was definitely much stronger than me, and that that will be definitely reflected in the engine. Uh, playing with the app, and uh, how okay shouldn't shouldn't be uh, talking too much about other things. Should also be focusing on the game. Let's just recapture here. Having one extra pawn should be enough to win this game. Pawn end games very important. To know them, if you know them, definitely easy to win chess games. Okay, the queen goes here. Yeah, but this is a losing game. If even if the pawn was here, there are triangulations, triangulation checks that would provide the black an opportunity to come closer with the king and actually pick up the pawn and checkmate white. So this is actually something I covered in one of my endgame videos. So if you're up for that. Uh, let's check it out.
so yeah but uh, once again if i would manage to uh, run the magnus app on the emulator without having any problems and if i would be able to um set it up so that i can record it nicely with obs then that would be amazing and uh, definitely i would make a series out of that but uh, let's let's play against dulanet dulanet 33 so once again a player against who whom i am playing for the first time and uh, once again i'm going to go for the modern defense i actually enjoyed it modern defense it's a, it's a pretty nice defense uh, but okay one thing uh, one thing that I would like to mention here is that this is probably the last game that I'm going to play and because yeah I have to go unfortunately so let's just see how it goes here trying to keep pressure on the d4 pawn all out of love. Did I translate that correctly? I, I do know a little bit of German, but not that much. Should be something like only, no, all only out of love, something like that. Yeah, know a little bit of German, but not too much. Um, Found myself nervous on the Zen game, trying to figure out how to break through with Knight Queen to avoid draw. Are we talking about some game that we played now, or are you talking about my game against Stockfish Trav? Okay, so once again, the idea of going for Bishop to h6 to go for my Bishop on g7. Okay. C6, I, I'm not sure if c6 is even an idea. I know that f5 should be an idea. So I'm going to go with that. Now with moving the knight on e8, simply the king can also capture here. Okay, the knight is coming on c3. Is that for a good move? I'm not sure. King captures. And yeah, that is something that I was expecting. Now, what I have to do, I have to somehow break through on this side of the board. One thing that is going for me, the knight is uh, the one protecting here on d6. So c6 and b5 could be an option. Mm, are they? Yeah, for now they are. Um, because, okay, but I can simply capture the pawn here. Am I missing something? That is also very important. I shouldn't be missing anything. Pawn captures and uh, now the knight is attacked here. Pawn captures on f2. Eos, vidimo sutra. Yeah, okay, thanks man, see you soon. Enjoy. Oh, against Stockfish. Okay, the last upload. Um, yeah. The thing there was, yeah, it was a pretty intense uh, endgame. Also, after with the Knights, I mean, I actually had a couple of uh, moments where I could have gone for a win in the game, but I blew it. And uh, yeah, once again, it was a draw. But I did have my chances. So, but unfortunately, it, it happens. It happens. Uh, now the question is, should I capture with a pawn or with the rook? I'm actually cap looking, uh, considering the capture with the rook. But then queen to g5 threatens to capture the pawn and uh, it is fairly close with the queen and if I capture with a pawn queen to g5 I would play knight to g8 and then just continue yeah let's just capture with a pawn keep an keep an option here to maybe threaten to go with f1 let's now capture here on d5 there is still a vulnerability vulnerability here 
on uh, h4. Okay, rook to f2 is actually a nice move. Hmm, okay. Should I capture here with the pawn? Bishop to c6 then? Should I play rook to f2, queen to f2? That's also possible. So many options. Which of, which of them are good? Yeah, I'm not liking allowing rook to f8 and then king to f8. So I'm going to play rook to f2. Okay, queen to f2. Slowly but surely I'm going to lose on time. Hmm. Let's move the knight. Oh no, okay, the queen cannot play there. But there is this queen to g5. Okay. Put the knight here. Okay, this one this one is also going to be tense but yeah thanks Josip <laughs> and I enjoy watching your play with this well rook to f8 now I think I'm good yeah but uh, I also enjoy watching good players play it kind of improves the game if you're also thinking about the moves and uh, going through all the possibilities. So watching the game, uh, watching the games of good players actually is not, it's not that bad of an idea. Okay, this knight is attacked twice. Probably knight to f3, only move. What happens after queen to g2, rook to d2, so I have to play queen to f6. Okay, then simply capture the knight and go for the end game. The Lennox missed missed an idea there. Rook to h3 is a threat. Yeah, as I've said, now knight to f6, attacking the bishop. Have to play a little bit faster because once again I'm down on time. Bishop to g4, a very tricky move man a very tricky move now I'll simply capture the rook give a check play e4 <clears throat> and uh, this should be enough for black <clears throat> let's then uh, okay the position of the king is not it's not the best so i'm going to try to take advantage of it with playing the the king forward and the pawns Okay, the king here. What now? Okay, a resignation. Thinking about g4, h4, I'm not sure. Yeah. So, thank all of you. Thanks to all of you who joined. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Once again, yeah, my condolences, but the stream is. Uh, uh, too short and not as usual around two hours so only one hour and 13 minutes now one thing that I would like to say for the end once again I am gone next week from Monday to Friday unfortunately there will be no videos because I'm on the business trip and yeah once again I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream I'll be coming back with some videos uh, from the analysis of the games with Stockfish level 7 and then later on I will be continuing playing against some other engines. That being said, hope you enjoyed the stream and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.